Hi everyone, Pastor Ron Raptosh. I just want to thank uh, Sarah Raptosh and I want to thank Lisa Popovich for making this possible. With new technology, we're adding to our church's repertoire. I think it's just a blessing. So thank you to the both of you for allowing this to happen. Just a couple of announcements. We're going to try to do this every day as a an encouragement for our people at Faith or anyone who would like to plug into our website and just listen and be encouraged. But every day for about two to three minutes, I'm going to offer words of encouragement. And you can plug into our website and you can tap into it and hopefully this will connect us with you with me and, and me with you. Just a couple of announcements before we move on. Uh, this came from Barb Hilke and the following are the announcements that are cancellations for our church. The Jeff Kitts Seder presentation on April 5th has been canceled. The confirmation class field trip to the Tree of Life Synagogue has been canceled. Good Friday Cantata service that we always have every year, which I'm going to dearly miss. All the things that we do are going to be dearly missed on April 10th has been canceled. The upper room experience on Monday Thursday has been canceled. The Easter egg hunt, and I'm not sure if that was even scheduled, but that has been canceled. Also, the April photo sessions for the Life Touch Pictorial Directory will be rescheduled later in 2020. And Youth Sunday, which Emily Miller is uh, putting together, is still on hold, so we will let you know regarding Youth Sunday. And also, the Worship Committee is meeting on April 2nd. That is right now on hold and possibly canceled. So there's, those are the announcements that we are uh, presenting to you. And like I said, every day we're going to extend announcements to you and schedules for what our church is doing, and we'll keep you up to speed. But this is what I'd like to share with you today is our devotional. Today was the, uh, the, the pericope or the passage of uh, Jesus' encounter with Martha and his, his wonderful words, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, yet shall they live. I really wanted to preach on that subject today. And, and uh, it, it really, those two, two verses from John's gospel really means a lot to me. But I, I, I went in another direction for you. And I touched on this a couple of weeks ago when we gathered together for our final experience, our final worship service. And I use this verse, actually two verses, from the book of Philippians. And this is Paul speaking. And Paul says, because there's so much concern and worry and fear that's going on all around us because of the coronavirus, that I thought it was important just to share with you this thought about fear and worry. Paul says this, Don't worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God. And then this final part of this verse, uh, verse 7, it really touches me. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus. When you think about life and when life overwhelms you, if you're a lot like me, I want to think that I'm in control of my life. And so what I try to do is when a crisis comes or I'm overwhelmed, I try to control it. And what Paul the Apostle is saying to all of us, instead of trying to control it yourself, which I, I usually make a mess out of things, give it to God in prayer. Don't worry about anything, Paul says. But give your, your requests, give your concerns, give whatever it is to God and allow God to take care of, care of what all the concerns and troubles that you have are in life. There are many times when I, I, I felt the pressures of my own personal life and the needs of ministry have been overwhelming, and it just feels like I, I can't even move forward in my life. Ron Blue says that there, there are two types of fears that people wrestle with, fear of failure and fear of the future, and worry is an attempt to control the future. I put together four different suggestions that when life starts overwhelming you, what you should do in life. The first one is really important. Don't lose your head. Think. Don't panic. Process what's happening to you and put things into perspective. That'll help you feel like that you're putting things in perspective and you're enabling yourself to feel more comfortable and safe in life. 
The second thing I'm asking you to do, this suggestion, is make sure you have people around you to encourage you. Don't be alone. Sometimes when you're alone, your imagination starts messing with you, and it just starts making you feel more out of control. The third suggestion is go to church. Well, right now we can't, but you can plug into churches at, at home. There's a lot of uh, Charles Stanley, David Jeremiah, and others, and hopefully by using what we're using now, we can also plug into the Internet. Also, Paul says, finally, pray. Pray, but in everything by prayer and supplications, with thanksgivings, let your requests be known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will give you that peace. In a couple of weeks, on Palm Sunday, in fact, that'll be, in fact, that'll be next Sunday, April 5th, and then also on Easter Sunday, um, we're going to be asking you to come to church uh, in the form of, of, a, of a sense of a drive-in. So you come to church... You pull into your parking space, and I will be over by the social hall, and we will present a service to you. We're going to try to do it. I'm working with Bev Finch and Ron Spinelli. We're trying to work it out that the uh, that, you know, that you can tune in to the frequency of, of how we're, we're transmitting on your car radio, or if you have another uh, piece of equipment in your car that you can tune into that frequency, and you can listen to, uh, to the church service uh, from the comforts of your car. So we're going to try to work that all out, and both of those Sundays, the service will be at 1015. But my concern for all of you, there is fear going around us. Give it to God, and allow God to bless you and to give you the confidence that you need. And I'm going to put my hand up in front of me, and I'm going to ask you to put your hand in front of your screen as well, and I'm going to pray for you today. Dear Heavenly Father, we just ask your blessings upon each and every person who hears this this broadcast, who hears this sermonette, who hears this powerful words from Paul the Apostle, but mostly from you. Bless all of us and, and help us and empower us to not to be afraid and not to worry, but to place all these concerns and all these, these fears that we have into your hands. And we do so by praying to you. And will you join me in praying the Lord's Prayer? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. God bless all of you, and I will see you tomorrow. Amen.